Alright guys, Ubisoft. That's how you do a conference. Ubisoft conference was really good. It was a great conference. Um, I would put it ahead of Xbox and, and Microsoft's conference. Uh, just because it kept me entertained the whole time. And it kept me pulled in. And, and it kept me really interested in what games they were talking about. Even The Division 2. Which, coming out of the Xbox's conference, I was sort of lukewarm on the game because it sort of looked uh, a lot like the same but they came out they explained details saying how they learned a lot about the first game and that they plan on fixing it and even gave us details on how they're fixing it so I am really excited for that game um anyways let's jump to it uh they first started off with just just dance 2019 and when I seen that I was kind of worried. I, I thought that the conference was going to be trash. I, I seriously thought that it was game over. They, they're going to they're gonna do this, and then somebody's going to come out talking about Just Dance and how they want to bring it back, and da, 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 but none of that happened. They just showed a little trailer, or not really a trailer, but they showed a, uh, a uh, like, some people dancing. And they, they came from outside, they went inside, whatever. They danced and then they left. Uh, next up was Beyond Good and Evil 2. They showed a little bit of gameplay. It was really mostly a big uh, cinematic trailer. Um, and they showed the people from the previous game. This is a prequel. So it seems like, I've never played part one, but it seems like uh, at least the girl from part one is evil in this one so we might see her turn from uh evil to good instead of good to evil whatever uh we'll, we'll see <coughs> rainbow six siege getting a ton of more updates and and i'm excited because I, i'm a really big fan of rainbow six siege so that that's pretty cool trials rising that looks pretty cool i played the previous trials of uh, fusion i'm not that into it uh, but I did play it when, it when it became available for free. And I liked it. Um, this one looks a little bit like... like There were some, some moments that when people were uh, crashing or whatnot. Like they would get squished by like say a car would fall on top of a guy and stuff like that. And and I was like, ooh. But no, no like blood splatter or anything like that. Which I was surprised. Um, Division 2, I just talked about it, you know, they came out, they explained how they're improving upon it, so I'm pretty, I'm really excited for it, um, I thought Anthem was gonna be the last shot for the shared world shooters, uh, genre, but Division 2 actually looks really promising, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Mario Rabbids DLC, uh, the Donkey Kong DLC. For those that are interested in that, there, there's that, um, Skull and Bones, that looks really good, but the thing is, is that, for me, I, I don't really see myself, like, actually playing that, like, putting in time in that, so I don't think I'm actually picking that up, but it does look really good for those fans that are really interested in that type of, uh, game naval combat and stuff like that or naval pirate combat or whatever the case may be like old school naval combat it, it still looks really really good i really wanted to see the cracking gameplay i was hoping they would show something like that like like yeah they showed a uh, multiplayer but then i thought like at the end they were gonna show um the character fighting the kraken but they didn't so but anyways the game looks really good Transfer, bleh, transference. Um, the the game that they showed off like two years ago, the VR game is supposed to be a scary VR game. It kind of reminds me a little bit of that movie with Johnny Depp. I believe it's called Transference as well. So I mean, not really my cup of tea, but but they got the VR thing still going on. Even though I kind of feel like VR died or is dying and it's not really as hyped as everybody would think it is but 
still good for those people that, that are interested in VR and got VR. I mean, I got a friend that uses VR and he loves it. So there's that Starlink Atlas. Um, as I was watching this trailer, uh, I, was, I even said, because I watched it with a friend, we were um, watching it through the mic and stuff, and we're going to watch the next conference, Sony's conference, we're going to be on the mic and everything. As I was watching this, I even told him, bro, it feels like uh, this is Star Fox, this is Star Fox, and then next thing you know, they revealed Star Fox, because the game is coming to all platforms, including the Switch, and on the Switch, you, it's exclusive where you can play as Star Fox. Cool cool but um that game is not my cup of tea but as i said this conference kept, kept me entertained and even though games that i'm not into like star starling transference um in a way trials uh mario rabbit even though i'm not interested in those games I can see why other people would be like like it looks like quality games and on top of that it it kept me entertained it kept me like um, like engaged in what they were showing me even though I wasn't interested in the game so that that that's what I think that 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 makes a good conference you know what I mean so anyways Next up, For Honor. I played a ton of For Honor when it first came out. And the reason why I hopped off was because they didn't have dedicated service. They ran their service through a host. Like, whoever had the best connection in the game would run the game. And if that person quits, um, it's sort of like the old school, like, like the original Xbox. Like, uh, I remember Halo 2 on the original Xbox. When the host quits, the whole game messes up. And, uh... It would look for another host, or it'll just boot everybody out of the game. And it, it was kind of like a, a coin flip back in the days. And that's what um, what For Honor was. And uh, they, he mentioned uh, dedicated service, stability, and, and then he started with DLC. All DLC is going to be free and this and that. Um, also, the game is free for, like I believe, like three days. On Uplay, I tried to download it, and uh, I don't know something's wrong with it. I'm gonna try it again. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I mean, for Honor, after they started talking about DLC and everything like that, they're gonna have uh, Castle Seeds now. So I'm definitely gonna check out check out that game again. I was a big fan of it. I am a big fan of it, so I'm gonna check it out, and hopefully, the whole thing on dedicated servers and stability is true because. That's what really killed it for me. Now, next up was The Crew 2. Um, the Crew 2, it looks way better than Part 1. You could fly planes. You could drive boats. You could drive cars, ATVs, dirt bikes. Like, pretty much every type of vehicle that's of existence you can drive in this game. So, uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not that big on racing games. But as I said, it was entertaining, and I could see the quality in the game and why people would be interested in the game. Not my cup of tea, but still, it, it's a cool looking game. And then lastly, uh, the game that, that, that was the highlight for me was Assassin's Creed. I didn't think Assassin's Creed was was gonna uh, pull me back in because I played Origins, I liked it, and then when when they announced Odyssey, and I see the, I'm sorry, and I seen the teaser trailer, I kind of felt like okay they're gonna follow the trend of every year, which they are, but uh, it's gonna be you know uh, minor minor. Uh, minor innovations and stuff like that which it does not look like it's gonna be like that the combat looks like it got refined and and it's getting better um the uh there's multiple choice dialogue now so you could actually affect the world and affect the 
the the the world that your character's in. You have two different characters now. You have a male and a female. Uh, Cassandra is the female, and the male is Alex something. They're both grandchildren of Leo. Leonis, oh man, Leonidas, Leonidas, uh, basically the guy from 300, the, the, the main, you know, Gerard Butler's character from 300 is their grandfather, and um, uses uh, his spear and use a sword, bro, the game looks good, they had like this, this one, uh, at the end of the, like the whole gameplay demo, they showed like there was a big, like, uh, battle going on and I was like no way bro all those NPCs right there all fighting each other and, and there and it's not like you had like a set path you had to go through you could go anywhere and start killing and and, and, and slaying those dudes bro the game looks incredible and and I really can't wait for that game I was hearing rumors that it was gonna release next year, like in March, but it's gonna release, I believe, in October. I don't have it right here in the notes, but I believe it's October. Well, anyways, that was a great conference. I am, I am extremely happy for that, and I'm looking forward to Sony. And I believe Sony's gonna top off from everybody, but you never know. I thought there's a lot of, like they didn't show Splinter Cell, but it. it and that was the main disappointment for me on this conference, but it didn't kill the conference. But I do believe if they showed Splinter Cell, bro, <laughs> that would have been amazing. Well, anyways, let me know what you guys think about the conference. Do you guys think it's the best so far? Or are you guys leaning towards somebody else's? Maybe Bethesda, maybe Microsoft. I'm leaning towards uh, Ubisoft for right now. I really did enjoy that, that press conference. It was nice and long. You had big chunks of games. They didn't show you like a whole 50 games or anything like that. Which, showing the 50 games isn't a bad thing. But, I like this way better. Like, for instance, if Microsoft had a bunch of exclusives to show, to like go in depth with it. Like, really show us what you got. You know, what is this game about and stuff like that. Like what they did with Division, Assassin's Creed, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, Skull and Bones. Um, anyways, like I said, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this conference. I loved it. And if you enjoyed my video, hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.